Good day, everybody. My name's Rick, and I'm building a Jacques Mertens designed Downey style trawler in my backyard in Iroquois, Ontario, Canada. For those of you that have been here before, uh, I just saw the ophthalmologist yesterday and got the okay to get back to work on uh, sanding and grinding as long as I uh, take precautions and uh, wear my safety goggles, etc., we're good to go. Um, the second surgery went much easier than the first. There was absolutely no pain, no irritation. Uh, the vision came back very quickly, three or four hours, and it was as good as my right eye, which had been done two weeks prior to that. So it's all good. Uh, my eyesight will continue to get a little better over the next three to six months, and uh, worst case scenario is I may need to wear glasses for distance. But uh, right now I'm okay to drive. Uh, my focal distance for reading is about you know, 8 inches or so, so that's good. Uh, close up work, a little bit of a problem, but uh, magnifying glass works just as good. So here we are. Uh, new eyes, fresh look on this project, and uh, yeah, I got a shit pile of stuff to do. So. Um, I think what I'm going to try and do is concentrate starting in the bow and working my way aft. Just trying to methodically knock the things off the list that need to be done. There's a tremendous amount of sanding. Uh, the glass has got to be sanded down prior to gluing and taping and stuff like that. And uh, I've got to squeeze myself into that little space up there to do most of it. So I want to try and get the anchor locker done, all the cleats in, etc so I can put the floor deck on and uh, finish off the cabin and uh, that's where I am so uh, thanks for holding out I know it's been three weeks or more since we did anything uh, put any videos up but uh, we've been busy uh, puttering here and there shops cleaned up house projects pretty much finished and uh, the eyes are done so I get back to work so I'm gonna do some sanding stand by Okay, we're up here in the bow now, having a quick look. Uh, we've dressed up those seams. They got one layer of tape on them. They'll get another. Look, we need a forward end here. Turn around and see if I can get a picture of these early spots where I've got to uh, grind out that excess epoxy and uh, <clears throat> get them ready for tape, for glue and tape. And then the whole place has to be sanded. Uh, prior to painting. And the anchor locker will be the first part, first section of the anchor locker starts about here. That'll give me a chain fall from the bow pulpit of about 30 inches which I think should be enough. I plan to uh, divide the anchor locker in two, chain an anchor road on this side uh, spare road uh, will come through a hose pipe for the side uh, naturally on the bell pulpit there's a windlass so uh, it'll be divided down the middle the next section down here that'll be uh, general storage above the bunk top of the bunk should come to bit here this will have a nice door on it it'll be fully enclosed just for you that were wondering that's gold coin for good luck. There's a little bit of hair from our cat Shadow who passed away a few years ago. I think uh, Squirt was our other orange ginger. He's got some in there too. Um, there won't be too much rigging there. Um, most of the wiring I plan to bring in from this area so it's well out of the bilge area for the bow thruster which is down there, and the windlass, and uh, wash down pump. The bottom section, uh, once I'm done glassing and taping, I plan to sand that and uh, build a cover for it, which will come over here, and then I will fill that cavity with bland foam. That's the plan anyways. The uh, Once I get that done, I've got to turn my attention to, you can see the cleats are on, 
all of these frames all need another layer of tape that's not that big a deal and then uh, you can see up there that's the cabin top that's going to be trimmed to go into place and uh, I have to do that before I fix the trunk cabin forward piece so uh, once that's done it's going to get really warm and really dark in here <laughs> so I've got a couple of uh, LED work lights so I'll give you a little wider view here this area here is the V-berth. There will be storage underneath naturally. Bow thruster, battery. Battery will also service the windlass. Uh, storage on both sides. That's about it. So back to the sand insanity. Now a little closer look at uh, what I'm doing in the bow here. Um, I laminated this part of the stem, <coughs> which is going to be four years ago now. And as you can see in here, I've got um, the lays of the fiberglass uh, are running at zero to 90 degrees to one another. So that makes this a 12 ounce layer. And there is no mat on this one. If we look up above here, we've got our 12 ounce. And this is 1708, so the bias of the fibers runs this way on the 1708, and then on the 12 ounce, they run 0 to 90. So what you end up with is reinforcements running to the uh, eight points of the compass on here. So they're all going in all different directions. 
that's where it gets most of its strength from. So on the inside there's 1708, there's a layer of 12. On the stem here there's at least 10 layers inside of uh, heavy tape, 9 and uh, probably 12 ounce tape. Um, again, it's probably at least 10 layers thick in here. Again, this top layer is 12 ounce. So what I'm trying to do here is to prep this for coating. And I think for the anchor locker, uh, I don't know if I'm going to try a truck bed liner or not, but some sort of heavy uh, polyurethane paint that will stand up to chain and anchor road use over the years. So, um, being a stitched fabric, you can see here there are little binder twines. And this is what holds the fiberglass together. So as I'm sanding to prep for a coating or a paint or whatever, I'm sanding off those little binder uh, strings that they stand proud of the fiberglass. So unless I dig really deep like there, I'm not into the reinforcements at all. But uh, I really only have to get about 50% sanded off to get a good mechanical connection for the paint. So. That's uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to finish doing this little section here and then I'm going to vacuum it all out. A little more sanding here and uh, I will redo these fillets and get them ready for tape. The bottom section I'm not too much worried about. It's going to be filled with foam anyway. So uh, Once these joints are taped I'll uh, put in the, the battens for uh, holding the uh, bottom of the storage locker and then uh, I'll put the battens in for the bottom of the anchor well so there you have it back to the sanding So after three weeks off for eye surgery and uh, binge watching Battlestar Galactica and many hours of YouTube, it's uh, a little tough getting back into it. So I've sanded the forward section, uh, forward of frame A. <clears throat> Tomorrow I'll glue and tape it in. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up first. I'm just, uh, after a couple hours I'm wiped and not used to this, so that's part of I guess losing momentum when you stop from a project for a while and uh, it takes a while to get back into it so um, and Sanders worked uh, that Makita Sanders just phenomenal worked perfectly blew a belt but I knew it was gonna go so it's not a big deal so tomorrow uh, we're gonna mix up some glue and we're gonna make some fillets and then we're gonna tape some joints and when they set up I'll uh, put in the the battens to hold the bottoms of the anchor locker and the forward storage space uh, once the battens are in I'm gonna close off the lower void space uh, glue the panel back in tape over it so that it can be filled with uh, expanding foam um, I thought I might be able to get the battery in that space for uh, the bow thruster and the uh, windlass but it's too small so um, it's just a void space. I'm not going to leave it empty. I'll just fill it with foam. So that's about it till tomorrow. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging in while I was uh, out of the boat shed for a while. But uh, I'm back now. I've got about five and a half weeks before we fly out for Grand Prairie. And that will pretty much mark the end of uh, this boat building season. And uh, I try my damnedest to get the foredeck on. The uh, forward part of the... Uh, the trunk cabin, get that in, start to get all that stuff glued down. I have to fix the cabin roof, a big gap down the middle of it. Um, maybe glue and tape some more seams. We'll see. Again, thanks for looking in. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the Sand Insanity and share it around uh, 
we're up to 330 subscribers now, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, I actually get some really good comments from people. I really appreciate it. It helps keep the enthusiasm up for the project, um, which I really need. I need a lot. So thanks again. Stand by it.